Hello everyone, in my previous video, I talked about how to set up a Raspberry Pi as a headless server. And in today's video, I'd like to show you how to move your Raspberry Pi to a new Wi-Fi network. This happens when you change your ISP internet service provider from, for example, AT&T to Verizon. Now you have a new Wi-Fi network in your home, and your Raspberry Pi can only connect to the old Wi-Fi network. In today's video, I'd like to show you five methods to add your Raspberry Pi to the new network. Recall from my previous video, I talked about how to set up a Raspberry Pi as a headless server. I mentioned that you have two options. One is to use a wireless connection with an Ethernet cable. The second option is to use a wireless connection. If you have been using a wireless connection, then it will be much easier. You just need to connect your Raspberry Pi to the new router, and then it will function as before. What if you have a wireless connection? In today's video, I'd like to show you how to connect your Raspberry Pi to the new Wi-Fi network from a new ISP. In my opinion, the best case scenario is to add your Raspberry Pi to the new Wi-Fi network before you cancel your old Wi-Fi package from your old ISP. In this case, your Raspberry Pi should be connected to the old Wi-Fi network. And you log into your Raspberry Pi from a PC that is also connected to the same network. Your PC can connect it to this same network with an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter, as long as it is the same network. And then you can log in to your Raspberry Pi with SSH, and then add a Wi-Fi credential. Let me show you how it works. Recall from my previous video, I set my username as Pi and hostname as Pi4.local. So assume that this is our old Wi-Fi network. Now let's move the Raspberry Pi from the old Wi-Fi network to a new Wi-Fi network. At first, we can use this command to check what kind of Wi-Fi network is available in my area. As you can see, there are not Wi-Fi networks in my area. Now assume that I want to connect to this Wi-Fi network. If the Wi-Fi network you want to connect to is hidden, then you can use hidden yes at the end over here. If it's not, then you don't need this part. You can find the Wi-Fi SSID from the list above, and this is a Wi-Fi SSID. You will enter the Wi-Fi password over here. And you can give this Wi-Fi connection a name, so this can be any name you like. So I'm going to type the Wi-Fi password, and then I will continue from there. After running this command, with the correct Wi-Fi access ID and password, your Raspberry Pi should be connected to the new Wi-Fi network. Because your computer is still connected to the old Wi-Fi network, they will not see each other anymore. In this case, you can use Ctrl D to disconnect with Raspberry Pi. In order to log into Raspberry Pi, we also need to switch our computer to the new Wi-Fi network. Once that is connected, then we can log in to the Raspberry Pi, same as before. And we use this command to check the Wi-Fi network we are connected to. You can see here, now we are connected to the new Wi-Fi network. The last thing we need to do is that we need to set the new Wi-Fi network to a higher priority. As you can see over here, this network has a higher priority than the new Wi-Fi network. So we need to set this Wi-Fi network to a higher priority so that the Raspberry Pi will connect to the, our new Wi-Fi network next time automatically. This is a command to set the new Wi-Fi network to a higher priority, for example, 25. If we check the priority of our Wi-Fi network, you can see now this one has a higher priority. So next time when we turn on the Raspberry Pi, it will automatically connect to the new Wi-Fi network, even if the old one is available. Now let's see another scenario where you already canceled your old Wi-Fi package and you already activated your new Wi-Fi package and you cannot log into the Raspberry Pi anymore. In this case, I highly recommend that you bring your Raspberry Pi to a location where you can connect your Raspberry Pi to a new router or network switch with a cable. In this case, 
your Raspberry Pi will automatically connect to the new network. And once you set up the Wi-Fi on your computer, and then you can use your computer to log into the Raspberry Pi because they both connected to the new network from the new ISP. Once you log into the Raspberry Pi, you can add the new Wi-Fi credentials just like what we did earlier. And the third method is to use keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Basically, you connect your Raspberry Pi with a keyboard, mouse, and monitor. And you boot up your Raspberry Pi and log in with your username and password. And then you can add the new Wi-Fi credential the same way as we did before. The fourth method is to use another Raspberry Pi. You can remove the micro SD card and insert it to another Raspberry Pi. It has to be the same model. For example, if you have a Raspberry Pi 4, then the other Raspberry Pi has to be the Pi 4. Once you have the micro SD card on the second Raspberry Pi, and then you can connect the second Raspberry Pi to the new router with a cable, and then log in, add the Wi-Fi credentials the same way as we did before. Once you finish that, you can return the micro SD card to the original Raspberry Pi and boot up. It will automatically connect to the new Wi-Fi network. Now, another scenario is that you know you are going to cancel the old Wi-Fi package, but you don't know exactly when the new Wi-Fi network will become available. In this scenario, I recommend you use a hotspot or the hotspot function from your phone. This must be done before you cancel your old Wi-Fi package. In this scenario, you log into the Raspberry Pi as usual, and then you add the new Wi-Fi credential from your hotspot or from the hotspot function of your phone. After that, you need to connect your computer to the Wi-Fi from the hotspot. In this way, you can log into the Raspberry Pi from your computer. Once you log in, you need to set the priority of the hotspot Wi-Fi higher so that the Raspberry Pi will connect to the Wi-Fi from the hotspot automatically. And once you have the new Wi-Fi credentials from the new ISP, you can add that one to the Raspberry Pi as well in the same way as we did before. So I hope you learned something from this video. Please leave your questions and suggestions in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. See you next time. Bye-bye.